This video is going to be on interpreting harmonic graphs. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, brief recap. We're going to talk about period. And remember, period is the time it takes for one full cycle. So what's what is um excuse me what is amplitude? Amplitude is the distance from the resting point. So in this graph below, you see that I have a graph that kind of almost reminds you of the velocity time graph. Well, it is just like the velocity time graph as far as how you would read it. Um, remember, the zero line actually meant that you were stationary, not moving. And as you moved away from the zero line, that showed that you were accelerating. And as you got closer to it, that meant you were slowing down. Remember that? Okay, and even if you were moving in a straight line, that actually just meant that you were going at a constant speed okay remember those things and also say I was you know I'm getting away from it so that means I'm accelerating in the one direction and then I'm slowing down as I cross this zero line that means I'm accelerating in a totally different direction so let me use a different let me give you an example so now I'm slowing down going east and then I turn and I go west and I'm accelerating going west and now I'm coming to a stop and then I turn and I go back east again. So that's basically how you would read this line. Okay, so now that you know how that thing, that's a nice little refresher, let's get back to amplitude. Amplitude says it is the distance from the resting point. The zero line is the resting point. So how far does this does do these little lines extend from the resting point? So in this situation, I got it's going, it's, you know, that's, that's how far it is. That's the distance. You can even look at the bottom peaks. These are, I call them peaks. Okay. So that is your amplitude. So what is the actual amplitude? Let's look at what the lines, the lines are going by. So right here, it's going by two, four, six, eight. So what is our actual amplitude? It is 10. Woohoo. Okay. It was really that simple. All right, so now let's move on to what period is. So what does a period look like on a graph? Well, the period is the time from one peak to the next peak. So it would look kind of like this, from this peak to that peak. Or if I was to trace over it, it would be from here to there, okay? Or you could use the bottom peaks. You can say from this distance to that distance. So like that. There you go. Those are two example peaks. Um, another way of saying it is... It is the distance of one starting point to the next starting point. So as you see, I didn't actually choose a peak. I chose to start on the zero line and end on the zero line. So here's another example of me doing that. I chose to start on the four line and end on the four line. Now let me let me make one thing really clear. You can't, like this is not, let me go back to the other one because that one was a little more clear cut. This right here is not considered a period. I start on the zero line and ended on the zero line, right? but I only completed half of my period. This is the full period, so you have to go all the way up and all the way down, okay? So, here are some other examples, you know. In this situation, I started on the eight line and I ended on the eight line, okay? So, let's say I actually wanted to do that. Like, now you know what it looks like to actually visualize what a period looks like. So let's actually find out what the period is. Here are some, you know, examples of the peaks, by the way. So I want to actually calculate a period. To calculate a period, you're going to take the time where you started and the time where you ended, and you're going to subtract them to find out what the period is. For me, I'm kind of lazy. I would much rather not have to figure out two different points. I usually like to start on the zero line just because I'm only having to figure out what one point is. So I started at the zero line right here. This, this long line is my zero, okay? And this is my cycle, or excuse me, this is my period. And then I stopped right there. And so what does the next one actually look like? It would look like this. And then I stop right there. And what's the next one look like? Like this. And you just keep on going, okay? Um, so I'm going to just talk about the purple one. I started on the zero, and I ended at this right here, 1.0. So what is my overall period? It is 1. So my P equals 1.0. It's just simple like that. 1 minus 0 is 1. All right. So now we know how to do amplitude and periods. Let's put that into works in this next one. Okay. So I'm going to, in this situation, it's really nice. I'm already at the zero line. So I'm going to start here. 
I'm going to draw out what my cycle looks like just because it's easier for me to see things that way. Okay, so now that is my actual first period. Here is another one. You can actually see two of them on this thing very easily. But all I'm concerned with is the purple. So what is the period? I'm starting at the zero. Okay. And let me try that again. These zeros just don't want to come out. And I'm ending right around the three. So what is my period? My period is going to be three. And let's see. Why is my threes not? They're not looking like I want them to. Sorry, guys. Anyhow, so if you want to know. Okay, that's that's where I ended right here at the three. So my next period should end somewhere around the six. Let's see if it does. Okay, if you look at the yellow, bam, it ends somewhere around the six. Somewhere around it. You know, it really could be like 6.2 or something like that if you want to estimate. Okay, what is our amplitude? Remember, amplitude is the distance from the center line. So here is my center line. It ends at the one. So my a amplitude is going to be one. Okay? Next. All right. Uh, we got another nice one that started right on the zero line. Okay, so we started here and we should end right there. So what is our amplitude in this one? Amplitude is 10, right? I'm all over the place, guys. Amplitude is 10, okay? How do I know that? Because these lines are going by twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. Okay, what is our period? The period starts at zero and it ends at 1.0. So our period is going to be 1.0, okay? Let's try another one. Alrighty. Here's starting on the zero line. And we're going to end on the zero line. Oh, we can really only calculate what the amplitude is because we don't know what these lines down here are going by. So what is the amplitude? The amplitude is 10. Yet again, 10 just must be the lucky number or something. Okay. Moving on to the next one. This is our last one. What is the amplitude? And what is our period for this one? You know me. I like to start on that zero line. So I'm going to calculate my period. So I'm going to go from one peak to the next peak. So I started at zero and I ended right here. So what is this graph going by? You see all these little lines. You got a one, two, three, excuse me, one, two, three, four lines. So what is four divided by one? Okay. You take the 1 and you divide it by 4, you're going to get 0.25. So these lines are going by 0.25. So this is 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, and 1. So that means right here I ended at the 1.5. So what is my period? It is 1.5. And, oh, apparently meters, because that's our units right here. All right. And let's see what the amplitude is. The amplitude is, oh, that's easy. It's 20. You can see it crystal clear. So the amplitude is going to be 20. Okay? If you have any questions, feel free to ask.